back. Thank you for tuning in to Uncle Pookie's Barbecue. I'm your host, Uncle Pookie. It's my good friend, Eric Johnson, from Camo Cookers. How you doing? We even let him in the state of Mississippi. I mean, he is from Arkansas, but we'll we'll go ahead and let that one slide. Yeah, a little bit colder today down here in Mississippi. Lord have mercy. I mean, I have to kick, pick the uh, coldest day so far of the season to try to do anything, but this is our time. And so we are going to uh, experiment a little bit today. Uh, we have three racks of prairie fresh uh, baby back ribs, loin back ribs, and we are going to cook them in three different methods. We're going to cook one uh, start to finish unwrapped. Uh, we're just going to put some dry rub on them, let that soak in for a little bit, throw it on the smoker. The second, we're going to do a traditional aluminum foil wrap. Um, and then the third one, we're going to use butcher paper. That's been a, a hot trend. Butcher paper. Butcher paper, yeah. Not the white stuff, but the pinkish. Pinkish brown. Stuff. Stuff. Yeah, they, they come in different colors. A lot of people call it peach paper. I've seen it around. I've never tried it. It's that Texas trend, I think, coming this way. So many people talked about the, the, the butcher paper being the true traditional brisket method. Well, I yeah. thought, let's try it on some ribs, too. And just really, I want to see how... The, the different wrap methods and the unwrap method make a difference on your final bark. So that's that's our ultimate goal here Good is deal. just to see the difference between the three and uh, moisture as well. To see, I've always kind of felt like if you never wrapped your ribs, they kind of dry out in the middle. So right. we're going to experiment with that too and see what kind of moisture content that they hold up. I don't know if this camera is going to see it real well, but we tried to pick three very similar racks of ribs uh, fairly lean. We've got one that's got a little bit more fat content, I think, through the, the meat, but uh, you know how it is with ribs. Sometimes right. they, they look dry and they stay moist the whole way through. Right. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get these seasoned up. I'm just going to do, uh, we'll do one here on camera just to show what we're doing and we'll finish up the other two. What kind of seasoning are you putting on there? Man, I've I've seen some of this stuff in the store. I figured I'd try some. Yeah. It's a Uncle Pookie's Barbecue Love Rub. <laughs> Love uh, rub. Love rub, man. You know, that's the amazing ingredient on most recipes is love. It's a secret oh, it's ingredient. A secret. It's a secret okay. ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going <clears> to <throat> throw just a, a good medium coat on the back and the front here. Get everything touched. Now, the rub's got some sugar in it, of course. I don't know many barbecue rubs that don't have sugar. So right. that's going to affect your bark a little bit. But... Uh, I'm interested to see between wrapping and not wrapping what difference there is going to be. So we're just going to layer this on. Well, you know, in the fish world, I've always heard if you're not wrapping, you're not winning. That's true. Now, I, I do know of a team that says they don't wrap the whole way through the process. They use a water cooker and feel like that completes their, their moisture and and gives them that good bark. So yeah. we'll see. I'm, I'm interested to find out because I have always wrapped. Even before competition days, my brother-in-law taught me uh, when you do ribs, you you cook them for about three hours, you wrap them in full, layer them up with butter, and let them go the rest of the way. Now, backyard cooking, ribs weren't done until you opened the foil and you saw a bunch of bones right. sitting on top of some right. meat. So it was a little different than the competition style. But uh, either way, we're going to see how these turn out today. Hopefully, I might learn something. Yeah. It's hard for me to learn stuff, but every once in a while, what you think? Looks good. We'll leave it like that. All right, well, what we'll do, we'll go ahead and cut the video, finish up these other two racks. We're going to season them up just the same, and we'll check back in when we're putting them on the smoker. Our uh, drum smoker is sitting right about 250 right now, so she's set and gin and ready to go, and uh, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, we have, we're back. We've got the... Uncle Pookie smoker going. We're sitting at 246 right now. And uh, everything is blowing and going. So I'm going to get Eric here to help me. We're going to load these three racks of ribs in the drum. Get them ready to roll. They started tacking up real pretty. Hopefully, what kind of charcoal are we using today? Oh, you can see what we got going. Got the good Royal Oak. Not a sponsor yet. Maybe that'll change. <laughs> but uh, 
Eric is sponsored. Uh, Camo Cookers is sponsored by Royal Oak, which we are very appreciative of that. And uh, the lump has worked out great. The briquettes, we've used them in the past. They've been a good product as well. My drum smokers, like I've, I've talked about before, the drum smokers do really well with the lump charcoal. So um, I've had other brands that have worked real well, but uh, this is what we're going to go with today. The, um, the, the wood, I'm using strictly apple wood. I, I normally like to blend wood chunks, but uh, uh, with this route, I want to kind of keep everything consistent as possible. So we've got the... Um, the apple wood chunks mixed into the uh, the the fire basket with the royal oak. Uh, I did use for the first time. Uh, Eric's got a box of the tumbleweeds. Uh, I am a, a, a believer in the uh, lightning nuggets, but I will say these tumbleweeds they started right up. It was really really fast on the startup. And uh, man, what do you say? 10 minutes we had a good oh, fire going. less than 10 minutes we were ready to go yeah so i have no complaints so far that uh that product's worked real well on this cook and we're going to continue to see how it goes but uh we're going to leave these uh these ribs on what do you say three hours yeah, we'll do three hours i want the, the 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 rub to really set in good and get as much of a of a, of a base as we can uh and then we'll bring them in and show you our wrap method and uh, get them back on the smoker. And my game plan is to cook all three racks of ribs to one consistent internal temperature and then compare the, the bark on all three and the moisture content on all three. So hopefully we can, stick, can uh, stick to that game plan. But uh, either way, we're gonna let these rest and uh, get happy for us and uh, we will go from there. We will check back with you in a little while. All right, everybody, we're back, and uh, we have pulled the ribs off of the smoker, all three racks. They're all real, real pretty. Got a nice color to them. And what we're going to do is wrap one of them in two layers of aluminum foil, uh, one of them in two layers of butcher paper, pink paper, peach paper, whatever they call this stuff. Man, I'm excited to see what that paper's going to do. <laughs> I am, too. I'm interested to see you know, how we're going to bark up Her years this. ago, you know, people putting stuff in brown paper bags and yeah, whatever, yeah. all that. But uh, <laughs> we're just going to see how it works out. See how these Texas folks come up <laughs> with crazy ideas. Uh, when we wrap them and put them back on the smoker, we're, gonna, we're not putting anything in the wrap, no butter, no extra ingredients. We want this to kind of be as even as we can. But we were talking about it a minute ago. We are going to put all three of them meat side down. So even the one that is not wrapped is going to pick up some maybe some grill marks or something right. on it. But that should really be the only difference. So we'll just go right ahead and jump on in here. And grab a rack and throw it on the foil and a little rack on the paper. Which one do you want to? You know, I don't know. I think this one may be a little bit more uniform so maybe that one stays unwrapped okay. and we'll go with the well, good. loin piece in there we'll just go in here and... i've never wrapped some paper before so i'm, I'm kind of at a disadvantage i know right. the foil is going to stay where i put it but this paper kind of makes right. up its own mind Memories that were going to a real butcher shop and watching them wrap my steak or my, you know, daddy's ribs, daddy's right. steak, daddy's meat up like that. So we got that meat side down. We're going to have fun trying to make that paper stay where we want it that's to. That's right. <laughs> well, good deal. Well, that's quick and easy. We're going to go ahead and throw these back on the smoker. They've been on for three hours. Um, at between 250, I think the highest we saw was around 270, 275. Yeah. So stayed real consistent, but it was for a solid three hours. So we're going to do these, uh, probably check them in an hour. Yep. See how they look, and uh, we'll go from there. So we'll be right back. Well, we are back, and we have just pulled the all three of the racks. Now, the, the unwrapped rack of ribs, they didn't hit temp as quick as the others. We had about 15 minutes, I think, for them. 
And now they have all temped, except for the paper. We are both decided we weren't even going to yeah. break the paper open. Surprise, we were, surprise. Surprise, surprise, exactly. So, well, and the color on the unwrap, that looks that looks. Let's look at it. Let's see if we get this camera up a little bit close. It does have a nice color. The, the rub brings a little bit of red to it, but not too much. And uh, we were seeing moisture. You can still yeah. see. I mean, they're not dried out at all. They, they temped out a... Average about 205. Flip so. it around and you can see the bone draw without wrapping, also. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, all of them come out real nice and pretty. And like I said, now once once we wrapped those, they were meat side down yeah. in the wrap. So we went ahead and did the same on these and put them on meat side down. I was expecting to see some grill marks through there from the grate, but I guess maybe with them sitting there, the grates never got that hot. Of course, yeah. they're only at 250. So. Right. Wasn't too bad there. Well, should we open up the foil or? Uh... Yeah, let's open up the foil. Let's, <laughs> let's say, save the brown bag save, special for later. Save the paper for last, huh? There we go. Nothing wrong with that either. Mm -hmm. We did get a little bit more uh, disintegration, I guess, on the bone side. And of course, cool. the, still got the good color, still got the color, moisture. Yeah. And I think maybe the fat and the juices yep. kind of kept it from getting quite as dark because yep. you, you can see there on the curved end, it's it's more similar yeah. to the unwrap, but then you've got that line, I guess, that was protected in there as well. So yep. they look good. They're just about timber. ready to break apart, aren't they? Yep. But you also got that on this one. Yeah, you got a little crust here. I can hear. Yeah, it right you can here. hear the crust. Yeah, so that's that's uh, that's a definite difference there. These are a little more flexible and and uh, not quite as crusty on that bark, but that's all right. That's what we want to see. All right, we're gonna bust into them, or we're gonna look at that paper first and compare. Let's look at them. that paper and we'll bust uh, into them. I'm interested to see where we're at here. There's some of our fats and juices coming through. Yeah. Like Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Those minutes of present. Mm -hmm. They look a little bit darker. A little bit darker. Very similar to the... To the... Uh... Oh, and there you go. And sat in that juice a little See, bit more. Yeah. That paper, I guess, retained moisture as well. Right. Didn't. We still got a little flex. Little flex. We don't know what the temperature got to because we didn't check it. So. Uh, <laughs> we cheated. We didn't. But it still got good even bone draw. Yeah. Yeah. Real, real simple, easy on that. I guess maybe with the paper remaining moist and not creating a moisture pocket, maybe right. with the foil, you have a little bit of difference on the bark there. So. Well, I don't know. I can't hold back anymore. You want to, Bust uh, into it. Let's see what we got here. Kind of. There we go. Trying to pull a bone for each of us from the middle, so we're going to get the moistest. Well, I pulled a bone. Not right. <laughs> <the meat. laughs> a little tight. A little tight. A little tight. Yeah. You get a piece of that loin meat up there. Mm -hmm. That's what most of the judges hey. look for anyway. Yeah, that's my favorite part right there. It's definitely not dry. It's good moist. Not dry. And that loin meat's normally what dries out yep. the fastest. Got good smoke, good taste. I think maybe that paper insulated it a little bit more than the foil did. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's still a little tight, but it's but it's it's not overly fatty. I mean, it's it's rendered. Yeah. And it's still a little tighter than what I'm expecting out of that foil. But it's got good flavor, good moisture content. So not disappointed with that at no, all. No, not at all. I guess we'll go from lighter to middle to darker. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead on that one. We'll see what you think on that. <clears throat> yeah, this right here, you can already tell it's a lot. A lot more pull apart. A lot more pull apart. Of course, 
course, that's what we're both used to is that's right. full wrapping, so we kind of know what to expect there. Again, certainly not dry. Good smoke. I'm sorry, I got to my own horn. I like just that little bit of spice that yep. you get on that rub and not, not completely sweet. Yeah, and for some reason, I didn't get it on the, hmm. I didn't seem to get, get that little spice on this uh Maybe bag. it's delayed. You're getting the spice from that one as you're eating into this one. Could be. <laughs> I seem to have just a little bit of kick on that one, but I am noticing it more here. Right. I'm, say it may be the delayed reaction or whatever, but we will go with number three. That'd be my luck. Go we'll slide this thing right Could off. Be. On this one here, do have a better bone draw. Mm -hmm. Much um, more uniform. Yep. I wonder if that's the ribs themselves or if that is the fact it's that possible. we didn't wrap. But And it's yeah. definitely breaking open easier. That was probably the easiest of yeah. all three. I'm hardly putting any tension on it at all to do that. It was good and tender. You could almost put that piece of loin right there in the pork box. <laughs> I'll be telling those secrets now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's got a little bit of crust on it. I'm working. Mm. That's good as well. Definitely not dry. I was kind of wondering if it was going to dry out, but middle of that rib, I don't know if you can see the juices coming out of that meat. Even that loin meat is. Yeah, yeah, it's. It's, it's definitely not dry. Oh, they got no moisture issues at all. Also there. has a little char. Now, to me, this is a dry rib. Right. I mean, normally on a wrapped rib, I would take it out, put it back on the smoker for 15, 20 minutes, and let it dry out the rest of the way. The only thing I might would do with this is put a little bit more seasoning on it. Yeah. You know, maybe... <clears throat> 10 minutes before I'm ready to pull them off. Yeah. But that's really good. All three are good. First time I've ever experienced a butcher paper. Um, but I believe I'm going to still have to go with the foil. Yeah. I wonder if we were to do a competition style, throwing butter and honey and all of the add-on stuff inside the wrap what we would be looking at difference wise because this paper is absorbing some right. of it but as it absorbs it you know i think that's why the bark was a little different yeah it absorbed and was touching in different spots whereas this kind of just had a pocket and the the bark formed a little bit different on the right. foil so it'll be and two we're not talking about brisket you've got that big flat piece yeah. of meat where it's touching the paper all the way around you you're easier to have pockets where it's touching and not touching yep. on the rib but i'm impressed with this though i i have not done a rack of ribs completely open never wrapped well, and uh that's pretty dang good right there so it was good good eating for, rib. for family eating exactly that's what i'm thinking we may have to uh step out and ditch the crutch the yep. next time we cook for the family but i'm with you i think overall between the three the the better comp style bark came out of the full but the eaten rib, I think I may have to go with the uh, the unwrapped. Yeah. Put a little sauce ribs. on it or let it rip. Oh, man. A little sauce and just a hint of sauce maybe and yeah. uh, some more rubs. So uh, ain't nothing wrong with any one of these, but that one's surprisingly good on my end there. So, well, good deal. Well, Eric, man, I really appreciate you coming out. Well, thanks for inviting me. Today. This man, good, this is good time. Fun. Hopefully we can do it again. I'm, I'm ready. We'll go next yeah. weekend. Well, if it warms up a little bit, let's not yeah. do it this cold. Yeah, again. let's not push it right now. Is it? <laughs> well, check Eric out. Um, you're on Facebook, Facebook, Instagram. Okay, two of the three. I'm kind of yep. not much on Twitter myself right either. Now. So, Facebook and Instagram. Twitter's hit or miss, but this is mainly yeah. Facebook, Instagram at Camo Cookers. On both. Camo Cookers. There you go. Yep. And of course, I'm at Uncle Pookie's Barbecue. Uh, check me out Facebook. Uh, of course, YouTube. 
Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. All that's going to do is let you be notified whenever we put out new content. So uh, appreciate the subscriptions and uh, appreciate you watching today. And y'all have a good evening. Go out there and get you some pink butcher paper and try it for yourself. I'm interested to see yeah. the next round if it uh, if the next product goes the same way or if we learn something different about butts or brisket or something on this paper wrap. So thank y'all for watching. Have a good evening.